beauties, I'm Bianca Renee, and you're watching Bianca Renee today. And today, I'm going to be unbagging my Ipsy October Glam Bag. Thank you, Ipsy, for partnering with me on this video so I could show off how cute this month's bag is. This is probably the best looking bag that I've received yet. I mean, I am a little biased because red is my favorite color, and it has this cute little floral masquerade mask on it. I'm guessing they're trying to stick with the whole Halloween theme, you know, a mask, red, I don't know, but I love it. So the face that you are currently looking at was done up by everything in this bag. If you don't know what an Ipsy Glam Bag is, let me fill you in real fast. It's a beauty subscription where you pay $10 a month and they will send you a new bag full of cute goodies, whether it be makeup, hair products, or skincare, every single month. And each month you get five items based off of things that you like. So every month is a surprise full of different goodies. So let's see what I got this time. The first item in my Ipsy bag is the Wander Beauty Lift Off Purifying and Brightening Peel Off Mask. And I was very surprised to see that it's purple and has like a metallic finish. Thought I was so cool. This contains a skin loving blend of acai, goji berry, blueberry, lychee, mangosteen, and green tea extract. So it's packed with antioxidants to help protect your skin from environmental stressors. Once I apply it to my entire face, I let it sit for about 10 or 15 minutes, and then after is when you just peel it off. So in order for me to be able to peel it off easy, I kind of just move my face around, make a bunch of really funny faces, and then it's gonna kind of lift up in the corners of your mouth. So I always grab it by my nose, and then I just start peeling it off. I don't understand those other girls that could just take off the mask in one fail swoop. I'm just not that girl, but it doesn't matter as long as you could take it all off. Once you remove the mask, your skin's going to feel smoother, clearer, and brighter. Now that my face is ready to go, I've already applied my base. I'm currently wearing the NARS foundation. This is their Sheer Glow in the color Cadiz. I forgot about this foundation. It actually looks really good. Got me some really good coverage. But now I'm gonna finish the rest of my face using everything in my Ipsy October Glam Bag. So let's see what else we have to play with in here. Starting with the Pixie by Petra Mesmerizing Mineral Duo. So basically these two eyeshadows are besties and we're gonna try to just use just these two colors in my look today. So this mineral formula is supposed to reflect light away from imperfections and the gemstone tones are supposed to enhance our natural eye beauty. These are also cruelty and paraben free. So I'm gonna start with this lighter pink shade here. I believe this is lace. And I'm just gonna put this all over the eyelid, especially towards the front. Ooh, that's pretty. Now I'm going to go in with the plum color and just kind of pop this in the corner. And let's see if this enhances my natural eye beauty. Now we add a little bit of dimension in the corner. Keeping it in the Pixie family, I'm gonna use one of my favorite black eyeliners. I think I got this in my last Ipsy bag. And I'm also going to use my NYX Liquid Vinyl Liner for my wings. And then I'm gonna add on some lashes. Now I look awake. Back into the Ipsy bag and grab a blush. This is a Botanic Beauty Blush Serum. Nourishing water-based cheek and lip color. Interesting, so it actually could be used either or for your cheeks or your lips. I've never used a cream blush before, so this is gonna be my first time trying this, but that is one thing that I love about having the Ipsy bags, that it kind of gets me out of my comfort zone and has me try new products that I might not have grabbed on my own. So this serum is supposed to be non-greasy, long-lasting, and you can apply it with your fingers to add a pop of color on your cheeks or your lips. It's also enriched with apricot, which is supposed to help nourish and repair our skin. So let's go ahead and give this a try. This is the color Sunrise, which looks to be like a really pretty pink color. So I'm gonna add just a little bit because this is supposed to be buildable and we gotta, we gotta see how this goes. So I'm just gonna tap a little bit on the cheek. Ooh! Oh, that's bright, let me zoom in. Y'all gotta see this. Okay, I'm just gonna do that one dab and blush that out. Add a little bit more, 
so y'all can see it on camera. See that pink? That's pretty. It really does blend in very well. It melts into the skin, giving you a very petal fresh pop of color. Let me add some more to the other side. You really don't need a lot. Like a little bit goes a long way. Even that might be too much. Like I'm telling you, this will probably just last you forever and this is just a little small size in our Ipsy bag. That is very nice. I do wanna add some highlight to this look, so I'm gonna be using my Artist Couture, which is by Jackie Ina. This is her color, La Bronze. Gotta love Jackie. And I'm just gonna add a little bit of highlight, cause, duh. I actually really like how this highlight is blending in with the blush serum. Those two colors look very well together. And now we have two more items in my bag. I have a lip color and a lip gloss. So the lip color I have is by Sugar Cosmetics. This is the It's A Pout Time Vivid Lipstick Mini. And this is the color Better Call Salmon. Better Call Salmon? That's cute. Anyone watch Breaking Bad? And then the spinoff show Better Call Saul? I'm guessing that's where they got the name from. That was cute, that's real cute. This is the cutest little lipstick ever. So this is supposed to be a matte finish and it's supposed to be creamy and glide on easily. Let's find out. Ah. It really does glide on easy and this is a really pretty color. Wow, love, love this color. Even though this is just their mini, it's actually a really great size just to keep in your very small clutch purse or even pocket. I'm loving this Vivid Lipstick Mini, but I do want to see how it looks with a gloss with my next item in my Ipsy bag, which is by Laritzi Cosmetics. So let's go ahead and open this baby up. And this is a really pretty shimmery top coat type of gloss. This is the color Aura, and it looks like it's going to be a very high shine gloss that I can just add on top of this. Whoa, look at that. This is very hydrating and it's a non-sticky formula and this really gives you a nice shiny gloss finish. So here's the final look using everything in my October Ipsy Glam Bag. I'm loving these items. Every month just seems to be getting better and better. If you guys get Ipsy Glam Bags sent to your door every month, make sure you leave me a comment and let me know that you're part of the Ipsy family. And if you want to know more about it, I'll make sure to put a link in my description box. If you enjoyed this video, you gotta give me a thumbs up and subscribe. I post two new videos every week, once on Friday and once on Sunday and make sure that we remain friends by following me on Twitter, Instagram, and Snapchat at Ms. Bianca Renee. I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching Bianca Renee today.